We are walking to the cage. We will be buying in to the WSB main event. Got my 10K right here. I'm right in front of what's going to be the final table, but there's still thousands of players remaining, so we're not there quite yet. Today on the vlog, tons of notables. Once again, Kara Scott back in the house, Jeff Blatt fashion update, and Donnie Peters is finally telling us how his main event went. All right, day three, WSB main events. Most important thing we have to find out, as Bryn Kenny is trying to distract me here, is who has a million chips already? Big question here. Got to ask this guy first. Do you have a million yet? No, no, no. It was actually my first uh, downslide of the tournament. I lost almost half of my chips in level one, but you know, it's always it's a good reminder just to you know stay in the zone, and not to get frustrated, and you know, like life always throws you tests in all different types of ways, and just got to breathe it out, accept what is, and just keep going forward stronger. That's what a shaman would say. All right, let's find let's find someone who has a million chips. Um, all right, let's let's ask let's ask this guy. Do you have a million yet? Uh, no, but I'm good in spirit. Why don't you have a million? Yet? Um, I don't know. Uh, it's been it's been a rough day, but uh, you know can't complain. I'm in there, you know, doing my best. He's gonna he's gonna run deep anyway. He's such a grinder. Let's try to find someone with a million chips though. Let's try to do it. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a million chips yet? No, I don't. I'm sorry, I don't. Why? I, I, couldn't pick up any spots and just losing by folding and folding, so nothing yet. Yeah. Alright, we'll keep looking. We'll keep looking. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a million chips yet? Not yet. I'm on my way though. How close are you? Well, right now I've got about sixty-five thousand, so oh. I expect a million by the end of the day. Alright, this guy's gonna make it. Let's go, let's keep looking. Excuse me, sir, excuse me. Do you have a million chips yet? I, I don't speak English already. English, English? I guess not, I guess not, I guess not. Alright, let's see. Pedro. I have a question for you. Yes. Do, you. do you have a million chips yet? No, no, I only have 290. I was just texting my friend Prahlad. It's not deuce, you know? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that good in no limit hold. <laughs> you would have a million if it was deuce? Maybe, the way, yeah. At least this year, that's how, how it worked, worked out for me, yes. Right, we're gonna keep looking. All right, let's see who else is here. All right, sir, question. Do you have a million chips yet? I do not have a million chips. Why? Because uh, I'm not good enough. How much do you have, though? I have 367.5. You're only like a double up and a half away. Yep, we're chilling. We'll be there. He's, he's doing well. Do you have a million yet? No. Why? It's hard. It's hard. It's a very tough field. Are you unlucky or bad? I am bad. Uh, that's, 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 not, that's not as bad as being unlucky. All right, let's go. Sir, do you have a million chips yet? I do not have a million chips Why? yet. Why? I suck at this game pretty bad. A lot of terrible poker players here today. Let's keep looking. All right, let's see. All right, these guys are Italian. I'm, I don't trust them. Excuse me, do you have a million chips yet? <laughs> Not yet, but it's coming. I've got Mattis out of my table, so I'm hopeful. How close are you? Uh, 75,000. Oh, just a few double ups away. Upward. No problem, no problem. She's going to get there. It's going to be fine. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a million chips yet? I do not. I'm about a quarter of the way there. Are you disappointed? Only now that you just put me down like that. But no, I'm, I'm happy. It's going good. He seems confident. I trust yeah. him. All right, good luck. Thank you. All right, let's see who else we got here. Excuse me, sir, I have a question. Do you have a million chips yet? Uh, no, not yet. I have uh, 321 chips. That's a lot. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. First time in the main event? Yeah, first time. I'm only 23 years old, so first time uh, in Vegas and first time in the main event. <laughs> that's amazing. This guy is going to make a deep run. I trust him. All right, let's see. Oh, we got some crushers here. David Peters, do you have a million chips yet? <laughs> he has a sandwich, though. Might be more important than a million chips. Not yet. I have like 530, but there is a guy my chips with a million, so. Oh, we maybe. found someone. <laughs> maybe we can play Big Pot and I'll get there soon. Though. We'll see. <laughs> this guy's too good for the main event. He should be disqualified, really. Let's be real. He's filming me. Do you have a million yet? No, 100K. <laughs> That's very disappointing. All right, let's move on. Do you have a million? 85,000. See, I trust this guy to run it up, though. Thank you. See, there we go. Some positive energy. All right, but I, we have to. Does someone have a million chips yet? Anyone? No? It's very deflating. Has, I saw I saw people in the chip council with a million chips. I just need to find them. This is very weird. Let's let's go to the other room and see if they're over there. Maybe. All right. Who who looks like a chip leader? That's that's the big question. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe the Russians do. Who knows? Maybe this gentleman, sir. Do you, do you have a million chips yet? 
Close. Nope. Don't wish I did. <laughs> How close are you? Uh, 100,000. So it's only a, few, only a few more double ups. Yeah. Three, four. <laughs> Good luck, sir. Appreciate Hello, it. Buddy. All right, let's see. Is there any pros around here that might have a million? Let's see. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a million chips yet? No. Why? I'm not very good. How about you? No. Anyone here? No? Also not good enough. This is very disappointing. This, this, this whole search might be a, a big failure. Um, nobody has a million chips yet. Does anyone have a million chips? Anyone? No? No? Ah. All right, I guess we're just surrounded by people that either aren't trying hard enough, aren't lucky enough, um, but I swear there are people with a million chips. We might have to just find them, locate them, and talk to them later. I'm now surrounded by the wildest animals in Las Vegas rushing down the valley to get back to their tables, to get back to their degeneracy in the greatest poker tournament of all time. They're all gonna try to bluff each other and then have some fun and bust each other. At the end of the day, only one person will walk away with that $10 million top prize. And maybe they're walking right behind me, who knows? Either way, it's a good time here today. Gavin Monroe, you got a million yet? No, we have 880 now. God damn it. What happened? Just took a few tough ones. Couldn't do anything about it. I thought you were all gas. We've tried. They're not letting it happen today. Are you Are you slowing down? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to take a step back here. You're just, you're, hours or so. you're just saying that because they're right behind you. No, 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 no. we got to slow down. <laughs> big spot. Is, is it a big spot yet? Uh, yeah, it's pretty big. It's the main event. <laughs> are you feeling pressure? Not really, no. No? But the all gas strategy has worked for many legends in the past. I agree. But Jamie Gold went wire to wire, basically. Don't, don't compare me to him, please. <laughs> Why not? If you win the tournament, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Are you are you gonna are you gonna win this thing? It's day two, day three now, right? Day three. Long you, way. You can to call go. your shot in day three. No, no, no. I'm not calling my shot in day three. I like my chances. How about that? Is that good for you? <laughs> I'm just disappointed you don't have a million. I had it. You had it. Eight eighty. Eight eighty. He's still grinding. Stay tuned. All right, the journey was not a total failure. We found one. Over one million chips, current chip leader, Mohammed Abdel Rahim. He's right here at Bally's. We're gonna to try to talk to him. Let's go. Mohammed, real quick. How many chips do you have? I like 1.4. We got one. We finally got one. Finally found someone with more than a million. What's, what was the biggest hand? The biggest hand was yesterday, last level. I had kings uh, against ace-king. Uh, I raised, he's three bet, I four bet, he shoved five bet shove all in. I called. Both of us had like huge stacks. And, mm -hmm. and uh, the board is like eight, eight, three. Turn is the king. River is, yeah. Awesome. Have you gone deep in the main event before? Yeah, I many uh, I many cashed before, not many cash. Like I made like 24k. So this is this is a big yeah. big spot. Yeah, yeah. The first year I played, I I cashed. Are they scared of you yet? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, sir. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Mark Newhouse in the mix. Um, what place will you finish this year? Uh, not ninth. Not ninth. Yeah. But ninth will be great, right? Or not? Yeah, anything else will do. It's it's good to see you though here in the main event. You're looking yeah. good. You look focused. You look look ready. Are, uh, are you are you great, are yeah. you in the right mindset? I I feel great. I've this is my first tournament this summer. I've been in L.A. Uh, I uh, last year I came out for the main event. It was my first tournament. I played it. I min cashed, and I said this year I was going to play every tournament. <laughs> and then about a month before, I decided to stay in L.A. and play cash. But uh, I feel great, and yeah, I'm feeling good about this. I mean, one you sure. look you're looking healthier than I've yeah. ever seen you. Is is that just you know, me not seeing you for a long time, or are you actually doing really well? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very healthy. I uh, work out every day, uh, quit smoking a couple years ago. That was, that's what it took, yeah. <laughs> He's not finishing ninth again, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I, I'm going to do, like, fourth. Uh, fourth will work now, but <laughs> when there's four left, not fourth.
Huge moment here for you in the tournament? Absolutely. This is going to make or break it. Oh, damn. Oh wow. <laughs> How do you pull the three of diamonds? I have no idea. I don't think I won the chip race. What do you think? Is it a reverse omen? Lose the small one, win the big yes, one? Yes, it is. It's definitely a reverse omen. I love it. Yes, absolutely. We'll start with that. Now that I lost the chip race, I'm definitely going to be one of the chip leaders for the start of day four. I was going to ask you about strategies. This this sounds like a good one. Uh, I do want to ask you, though, on a more serious note, how different is this tournament from all that the grinding you've been done, doing this year? It's always different. I mean, the main event is the main event. And there's always a special energy to it. And it's always, I don't know, there's just, busting the main sucks. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> like, when you bust the main, it's like, damn. You know, it is. So this year, though, I registered on day two, which I've never done before. So I'm. Was that because you wanted to make day two? Yeah, absolutely. I was watching all the people bust on day one, and I was like, you know what? At least I didn't bust on day one, and I can say that. Because I've never busted on day one, and I didn't want to start this year. Well, so. you, you are very close with someone who, who's finished in the most painful spot in the main event, Eric Seidel, who's, who's helped you a lot with your game, yeah. especially as you were you know, rising up the stakes. Yep. D do you ask him for special advice for this tournament, or perhaps you did that in the past? Because, of course, he knows the drill. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we still talk hands all the time. Um, and for the main, you know, he... I think he's the first one who always who told me, you know, it's just a marathon, right? Just be pick your spots and there's no need to do anything stupid. Right. So the I think the best strategy is don't get unlucky. Right. Right? Don't get coolered. You but I to, but I'm curious, have you done yeah. anything stupid so far? Um, so far so good, knock on wood. <laughs> let's not let's knock on wood. Um, I was very lucky, so I bought in day two, so I started with sixty K. Um, and then was on the right side of a set over set cooler um, and doubled in the first 40 minutes and that helped me build a stack on day two. Um, and so far, you know, it's been pretty uneventful, which is how I want it for the first multiple days of the tournament. I don't want any drama. I don't want any big hands. I don't want any confrontations. Just pl keep the pots small, pot control, <laughs> keep, keep it good. I don't want any set over sets. I don't want any flush over flush. Just don't cooler, right? right? That's the thing, because you have to play well, you have to get lucky, but you also have to not get unlucky. That's the flip part of it. And, and losing the chip race is, is sort of like, you know, you'll take it in stride. Exactly. I will. I will. I mean, it's a, it's a big blow, and we're on break right now, so luckily I'm going to have time to go to the bathroom and cry a little bit, because it was really like, I'm, I'm putting on a brave face for right, you, because right. I don't want the cameras to see me that way, right. but um, but yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a rough one. It's a rough one. As you I don't think I've won a chip race all summer. I mean, I feel like running deep in the main event is maybe the only thing that can make up for all that emotional distress. You know what? I think you're right. I think you're right. Did you hear that? So I'm, I'm the favorite now to win? Yes, you are. Like Maria Ho called her shot earlier. She didn't make it. So now that but, but she's... But the Maria, she, she gave me the Maria run good. She, she didn't say Maria Ho. She said Maria. There we go. So you can now take that over. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you, Maria. I love you, and I appreciate this really precious gift that you're giving me. Farrah Gelfond, she says she's short in the main event, but hey, you're only short for like a little while, and you double up a few times, and then things will be good. Yeah. What I'm curious about, though, or actually what I'm wondering about is, haven't seen you all that much. I we interacted a few times on social media. You said, you know, life's just getting in the way. Are you just excited to be in the main event to, to like push life aside for a bit? Yeah, um, I don't really play that much anymore. Um, and so this is like, you know, the thing. And um, I'm thankful because Phil decided to sit out and take care of the baby and let me just do my thing. Um, yeah, it's like a treat. It's definitely a treat and um, it's always, like, I always feel lucky just to be able to play. So um, day three, I've never made it past day three, and we are short, so it's not looking great, but I'm, I'm just being patient and, and positive, and we'll see if I can spin it. Always good to have Farah on our streams in the past, and we miss you, so we hope you get more involved Thank in you. the future. So yeah. I'm wondering, though, is it ultimately the goal to go back into the big grind? Because you were always playing, it seemed like. Yeah, I mean, before motherhood, I was I was a grinder, yeah, for sure. And I miss it, um, but my priorities are just different. And I keep, you know, kind of saying often, oh, I'm, I think I'm ready to get back into it. But then every time I, I make the first effort, I, like, just don't 
continue. So I don't know, maybe when my son is older and who knows, I'm just going with the flow, you know? I'm curious though, because Phil could also just retire as a poker player and you can just carry the team. <laughs> well, the thing is, is I really like being with my son. Oh. Yeah. And like the hours of poker, like they're not really conducive to our new lifestyle. So I don't know. That's another thing. But um, I don't know. I, maybe just playing the main event every year. That'll just be my thing now. I don't know. Well, the good thing about the main event is it's a pretty long tournament. So you can, yeah. you, you can, you can get some real run out of it. Hopefully, right? Fair Gelfron, a little short, but still going to make a run. Jimmy D, is anyone having more fun in the main event right now than you? I mean, uh, if you ask every table I've played at, the vote, I think it's unanimous. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't think anyone is, no. So tell me, like, what, what, what are you doing at the table that is making you get the chips and everyone else enjoy the entertainment? Well, last level I went from 700K to 260, so uh, uh, I think I was throwing the party, but uh, um, I just play a lot of hands. I'm, I, you know, I, I, everyone's got their own style, and my style is just uh, play a lot of hands and, and try to get the pots big, and, and I'm going to try to read them and try to disguise their read on me. So are you not concerned at all about making it deep? You're just trying to get the biggest stack possible and, and yeah, bully, yeah, bully I people? The, I want the biggest stack. Yeah, yeah. I mean, multiple tournaments this year I've had uh, massive chip stacks and didn't cash. So, you know, now this time. And in the uh, six max, I went down to one chip, chip and then ran it back and came back. So uh, I, I'm, I think you'll see. I'm going to be fun. I'm going to be fun. Like I wouldn't be here if I, if I, if I didn't expect you to be. Yeah, no, it's uh, no pressure on that either. No. I'm, 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 uh, I, like it's just my game. Like I like if three or four hands go by and I haven't played a hand, I'm trying to find a way to get in. I mean that's the that's the way to play the main event though. Get the, get a hold of some chips, yeah, bully yeah. people around. Absolutely, yeah. No, it's this is like this is the greatest ever. Like it's it's like uh, it's you know it's like half a cash game, half a tournament. Like it's people are so excited. Like this year in particular, I think I've just been really lucky in table draws. Uh, just everybody's been so happy. Like, like most of my table mates, I've exchanged numbers with at this point. Like, uh, uh, you know, in the fall, it was like I, I felt like everyone was a little more serious. Um, and I, I, like I said, it's been most all my tables. We've been laughing. We've been having. Sounds like you've heard. You Absolutely. Know, we've been having fun. If you need a guy to root for, he's right here. Oh yeah, no, I, I'll be that guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'll happily be that guy. Awesome. You know how I said that I was starstruck by Chris Moneymaker? Well, I was lying. I'm, I wasn't. But now, now I'm actually starstruck because Kara Scott is back in the house and she's a legend. So I, I'm not sure if she's on our level, but let's try. She's very, very professional. So people with real jobs are always intimidating. Kara. Are you working? Are you are you busy right now? <laughs> no, I well I'm working, but I'm not busy for you. Wow, yeah. what an honor! By the way, let me tell you how amazing it is to have you back. How does it feel to be back in the room? It feels like I never left, and I mean I've never been here before. This is Valley, <laughs> so it's kind of a weird thing, but it's so good to be back. I'm so happy. So Jeff had his own bit for you know two years now. Yeah. Stand up for me, please. Mm -hmm. Did you did you think of a new bit, or did you just <laughs> say, hey Jeff, you stick to yours, I'll stick to mine? It's not a competition. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so glad that we're doing this together, and I didn't really know that until like a couple of weeks ago. I think it makes everything so much smoother because this is a huge field, and like. I can't cover it all and that's kind of difficult so for the main event final table I'll be able to focus on doing like the anchor desk which is great for break times and then I can do some like feature table reports and feature table interviews and not feel like I'm missing everything happening out there and he's great at what he does I loved it I mean he won an award so congratulations to him. Jeff's a legend Kara Scott also a legend and just for the people at home watching what can they expect of you are you gonna be here till the end you know when can they, when can we see you Oh, I'm going to be here all the way right up until we crown our champion. So, you know, put the bracelet on someone's wrist and then that's it. Love it. Did you did you get fired today? I saw Kara Scott showed up. No, 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 no. Not fired, not fired, not fired. Kara's going to be up here at the feature table. She's going to be anchoring the break desk. And I'll just be kind of out wandering in the field. I'm sending Brent Hanks money. Oh. You think he's ever going to pay me back? No. No, there's just no chance. Just add it to the tab, I guess. Wow. Add it is, to the is he, tab. Is he in that much financial trouble? Oh, I'm sure he is. Yeah. Have you seen him w win anything this summer? No, negative. When did he bust the main? Like four hours in? 
Uh, did he did he even play? He, oh yeah, oh, he okay. played. Yeah, he played. He made sure to donate to the field. Yes. So I'm assuming that the money that you just sent to him yeah. will not go towards a new outfit for this summer. However, you have a nice outfit on, so let's stick to that for now. Just describe what we're going with today. Yeah, we're back with uh, the solid gray express, brown shoes, uh, light blue shirt. Get the, I'm getting the shirts from Proper Cloth, oh, okay. and I really enjoy their uh, custom measurements, very reasonable pricing. No free ads, of course, for Proper Cloth or Express, but I do enjoy both companies. We talked about socks yesterday. Yeah. I do want to get an update. Yeah, socks are from Twillery. Just super basic blue, little pattern in there. So if you guys want to uh, help Jeff out Hopefully, in the future, yeah, so I enjoy Twillery socks. Uh, uh, send, send socks to the Pokego office. We'll yeah. make sure they arrive uh, at Jeff's house. Um, you, you said you only have about 12 pairs of socks. How many yeah. ties do you own? What do you think? You guess you were way off on the socks. Let's see how you do on the ties. I think eight ties is enough. I, I think eight is enough. I own about 19, I would say. How does a person own more ties than socks? It doesn't make sense, does it? It really, it really just doesn't add up. I like to have the options, and you really rarely see the socks except when pointed out in a Poker Go vlog. So I think the tie is a little bit more important to have some choices. Jeff Flat is on edge because I'm going to be finding out what socks he's wearing every single day. Stay tuned. All right, everyone. I got two events left. Still chasing this top spot of that leaderboard. First up, mini main event. I'm going to defend my 115th place finish, and then. First ever WSB main event, 10K, putting it on the line, going for the glory. Can't let Remco beat me on that leaderboard. Just can't do it. The guy's not even playing at any events. I'm either going to be buried or I'm going to be at the top with all the glory. Let's go. All right, everyone, we are hand for hand on the money bubble of the $1,000 mini main event. I'm trying to defend my 115th place finish from last year. Got a couple hands to go. I'm pretty short on the bubble. I think I can be able to get it in, and then it's spin time. We'll see how we go. We did it, guys. We're in the money. The $1,000 mini main event. It's spin time because I'm pretty short. Let's make it happen. Ultimately, got my money with Jack 10, was up against two queens, and was drawing dead on the turn. All right, everyone. They got us in the mini main, but we did make the money, which is a good sign. Trying to move up that leaderboard, get to the top. 736th place. Not the best showing, but hey. I'll take it, there was like 6,000 people in that thing, so didn't exactly get to defend my 115th place finish from last year, but hey, did what I could. I felt like I grinded just so hard today, didn't really have many hands, but hey, some days are gonna be like that, some days are gonna be easy, some days are gonna be harder, but happy to have made the money. Now, uh, I'm gonna go home and get some rest, because last night was a really late night, today was a really long day of playing. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, everyone, we are walking to the cage. We will be buying in to the WSB main event. Got my 10K right here. Kind of can't believe I'm doing this, but we're gonna try and make it happen. Hopefully, make a run on this thing, kind of like we did in the Colossus. Stay on top of that leaderboard for the Poker Go team. Let's go, let's get it. We're down chip. What do you want me to say? <laughs> How long you got hustled? I did, I got hustled by my friend Jake here. We, we bet on when our cocktails would get delivered. He ordered a green tea, I ordered a nice coffee, and the button was on him, so he won. I had to pay the tip. <laughs> so on the river, uh, like one, one and I caught the bait like this. Pretty, pretty close to bait, like button go, and it didn't go in. My bounce to put this 100 in. No, but in baseball that is a ball. For sure it's a ball. So it's not a rule, but it's, it's not it's like etiquette. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's not a rule. Yeah. But nonetheless, I put the money in. Yeah, yeah, no, you paid it. But it's kind of frowned upon. You know? Right, right, no, yeah. Same time. For sure. Oh, he got 700 on the river? 700 on the river. Okay, I'm, I'm debating a throw. Mm -hmm. I pump fake pretty hard, like this. <laughs> And then snatch it, it doesn't go in. Mm -hmm. Somebody flips over his head. So it goes back. Uh, uh, and, then muck. and then I muck. Am I bound to the 700? So we don't have a we don't have a forward, so you can come forward with so just to clarify something. This is an exact motion. Yeah, you, you can come you can come forward. Yeah, you can, so 
just as long as the chips are not put down, that's wow. not that's not a bet. Yeah. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. I agree. Thank you. No, no, it's not a bet. It's a call. If, 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 regardless, if the chips are not in. Yeah, he said it too. So you, I know. I guess you have like every floor. I just want. We're done with two. We're done with two. We're gonna we're gonna end right now. They made a bet. They made a bet. about it. They made a bet. They made a bet. I have an answer. I was willing to gamble on that. For the purpose of the hand, it is not a call. I a lot of money. If we think he's angle shooting, we're gonna have a little discussion and other things may happen after that. That's totally fine. It, it doesn't matter. It, it, in terms of, you know, you can have a stack of chips, you can come across, you can come down, bet one of those chips and come back. You're not required to bet what's ever in your hand. That whole forward motion thing is not a thing. Okay? But if, if it's if it's detrimental to the game, then we, you know, that one then, then we can deal with that separately. Yeah. Let the angling begin. <laughs> All right, everyone, it's just about time for day two of the WSB main event. Bagged a little bit less than starting stack, 51,200, started with 60K. Day one was extremely tough, probably the toughest table I've ever had at the World Series of Poker in all the different tournaments that I played. Haven't played a ton, but I've been at a fair amount of tables and this was by far the toughest. So happy to get through the day, make it to day two. Now it's time to spin. Hopefully I get a much better table draw and we'll see if we can make it happen. Let's go. Down to my last 15 bigs on day two of the main event. Got it all in, was called by Ace Queen. Love to see that nine in the window. Go on to double up and get back in the game. My bust out hand from the main event was a special one. I limp shove 20 big blinds from the small blind against the big blind with ace, seven of spades. Get called by eight, seven of clubs. He turns an eight, and that is all she wrote for my first run at the WSB main event. Did I get canceled? <laughs> yes, you're about to be canceled, actually. Listen, I've dropped to the bottom of the leaderboard, but that's not because I'm not trying. Listen, sometimes you eat the bear and sometimes the bear eats you. Shout out to my good friend Martin Harris for that saying. You don't play any poker. I play all the damn poker on this stupid team, and now I'm like minus 10K on the summer, but at least I'm trying. What have you got to say for yourself? You, you, can't, you can't lose if you don't play. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just being a little bit conservative. Megan did. I, I might, what if I just like play like the final event of the summer and just sneak into the money? Can I be number one? Uh, yeah, because I think I think cameraman John is up at the top of the leaderboard with like plus hundred and twenty dollars, which isn't that much. So all okay, you gotta do I'll is play, okay. is mincat. I'll play one Max event. Late red mincat. mincat. You guys By the way, are also not letting me play. You know, all the way. Let's, let's yeah, Remco's. You're not. You're giving him more work to, to deny him the chance of extending that lead. And we're famous vloggers now. And I just want to say that the shop has really cool merch. I just got myself a high stakes poker T-shirt. The shop is actually restocked. Patrick over at the shop told me that I have to plug this, so I'm gonna plug it. Shop pokergo.com we're doing a sale right now to the end of the main event i think everything in the shop is 20 percent off automatically applied in your cart so get on in there it is fully stocked up so while donnie peters will cry and cry and cry and will never get himself out of this insurmountable hole that he dug himself into i'm going to be back tomorrow with more coverage of the 2022 wsop main event please like this video subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below on who you want to see next in tomorrow's vlog Stay tuned to bookgo.com for more coverage of the main events and of course watch our vlogs.